My first HO train layout in a long, long time, part 11, a two-year review. What I've learned so far, numbers 30 through 42. 30. Before choosing dead rail, its pros and cons were considered. Dead rail, pros and cons. Pros. Using it can improve reliability and provide smoother overall running. Using it can eliminate or at least simplify track wiring. Pros continued. Track and wheel cleaning becomes mostly a moot point. The frogs of turnouts do not have to be powered for the loco to run smoothly through them. Reverse loops do not need special wiring to change polarity. Ys with three diverging routes are not a problem. There can be no short circuit in the track as it's not powered. Cons. Battery charging and maintenance requires special attention and knowledge. Battery safe handling and storage practices must be learned. Runtime for very long extended operating sessions can be a problem for some. A bit of effort is required by the individual to create the dead rail system. Who should consider using dead rail? Newbies or those who have not heavily invested into the hobby yet. Those who only have a somewhat limited locomotive roster at the time they decide to go dead rail. Those whose mindset is not yet latched onto or solidly fixed itself to the current available systems, DC or DCC. Those who are really open-minded to alternatives in power and control. Those who like a project to keep their minds and hands active. A person with a modicum of soldering skill and modeling skills can create a dead rail diesel or steam locomotive with extremely fine Wi-Fi remote control, engine sounds, bell, and horn or whistle both easily and relatively inexpensively for lithium iron phosphate 10440 size think triple a size batteries have been used very successfully and are now for the utmost safety the battery that i use whenever possible with a slight change in mindset many people can enjoy all the benefits of dead rail ho scale model railroading 31. Some Atlas Code 83 18-inch radius snap switches are arched or bowed in the middle. See the photo. This bowing or arching causes derailment problems when they are placed in the track work. The bowing also causes Caboose Industries ground throws to have to be raised so that the throw pin on the ground throw can be at the correct position to mate with the switch slide. This is not acceptable. How to avoid this problem? View the packaged snap switch from the side of the package. If a pronounced arching of the track can be seen, reject that snap switch. With the package on a flat surface, press down on the center of the switch. If there is a lot of movement, reject that snap switch as it will only cause future problems. Atlas Code 83 manual 18 inch snap switches have weak throw bars that do not fully close the points in each direction. The pin at the end of the throw bar connects to the bottom side of the slide mechanism for the points. The pin frequently drops out of its hole in the slide mechanism. The throw problems can be solved by using under the table switch machines or Caboose Industries number 5202S sprung ground throws. 32. Lithium iron phosphate, lithium manganese oxide, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide cylindrical 10440 size batteries are approximately the same size as AAA primary or dry cell batteries. These are the type of batteries I used in my dead rail application. There are electrical connectors that are shaped like AAA batteries. The dummy or fake battery shaped connector can be used in one slot 
of either a four AAA battery box or two AAA battery boxes connected in series to create a three in series resultant battery pack for IMR and INR batteries. Four IFR batteries are usually used for HO, so no fake battery connector is required. 33. As of January 2024, there appears to be a minuscule number of people, at best, that have an interest in the application of dead rail for HO model railroading. The larger scales, such as O scale and G scale, have many more modelers using dead rail. 34. Using card stock structures is a relatively and somewhat easy as well as inexpensive way to populate a layout with structures. 35. Like many pursuits in life, including all types of hobbies and sports, there is rampant use of acronyms as well as anacronyms in model railroading and related parts of the hobby. Many authors of printed and video materials assume that the reader or listener understands the acronym as an anacronym and does not explain its meaning. Some examples, PVA, polyvinyl acetate, PSA, pressure sensitive adhesive, CA, cyanacrylate adhesive, DCC, direct cab control, LIFE, LMO, NMC, MAH, milliamp hours. Some of those examples are a few of the types of glues or adhesives used for various purposes in model railroading. There are a lot more types of adhesives and these are just a few which were used as examples. Other aspects of the model railroading hobby as listed also contain their own lingo of acronyms and anacronyms for which the definition may not be commonly known. 36. In the last couple of years, a lot has changed with both availability of the various types of lithium-ion cylindrical batteries in the size that I'm using on both the supplier and manufacturer's sides. I find myself continually updating my battery information page. 37. Many of the tools, model railroading items, and batteries used for dead rail come from Chinese manufacturers. This causes a severe geopolitical problem with our supply chain. It is also the reason that so many domestic suppliers are requiring pre-orders for the more highly detailed and more expensive locomotives and rolling stock. 38. The HO scale diesel locomotives I used, Walther's Trainline EMD GP15 1s, had room for the LocoFi module with its attached speaker in the locomotive, and a trailing battery car was used to carry the battery pack. 39. The HO scale steam locomotive I used, an IHC 280 consolidation, had room in the tender. For the LocoFi module with its attached speaker and the battery pack in a three AAA battery box. The new in-the-box locomotive was purchased through eBay as it had not been produced in years and IHC went out of business around 2010. This conversion required a three AAA battery box. Usually, Three 10440 IFR batteries cannot be used for HO locomotives, but all three types of cylindrical 10440 size battery chemistry types can be used in this application because the top speed of a 280 consolidation was only a tad over 45 miles per hour. 40. Using the KISS principle, the safest way to create a battery pack for HO scale is to use four cylindrical 10440 size, think AAA size, LIFEPO4 batteries in a four AAA battery box or with two AAA battery boxes connected in series with the resultant battery pack 
being placed in a trailing battery car. Unfortunately, only the SoShine brand of this type of battery has been found acceptable and they are only available by ordering directly from China using AliExpress. They require a true multi-chemistry charger like the SkyRC MC3000 or the ISDT C4 EVO for externally charging the batteries. 41. The second safest type of lithium-based battery is the lithium manganese oxide. Only three in series are needed to power HO scale locomotives at scale speeds. I use the EFEST brand of both sizes mentioned here. Unfortunately, at this time, the beginning of 2024, there are no 10440 size LMO chemistry batteries available in the U.S. 14500 size, think double A size, are available. They can be used in a three double A inline type battery box and can provide over two hours of runtime with my locos on my layout. 42. I just recently started using a third type of 10440 size lithium based chemistry, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide cylindrical batteries. They are the third safest type. I am using the VapCell brand. Resizing the browser window, as shown in the screen capture, makes reading my website much easier. I suggest that my website should be checked at least on a monthly basis to see what I've learned, relearned, and where I'm going next with this project. In December of 2023 and during January of 2024, the website was completely revamped and revised to make it easier to navigate and find specific information that might be useful to others. If you have questions to ask or comments to share, my email address is linked at the top of my webpage. I would love to hear from you.